thumb, arthritis is a common condition that we see in uh, patients uh, usually starting in the fifth or sixth decades of life, more commonly in women than men. And basically at the base of our thumb is a joint that normally in humans enjoys a large range of motion and over time uh, is prone to developing degenerative arthritis or wear in the cartilage. So over time people will develop pain, swelling there, and that can lead to weakness and disability that significantly affects the function of the hand. Thumb arthritis is more common in women because women on average tend to have more uh, laxity in their ligaments, more ligament laxity or uh, looseness of the joints, um, but it can occur in men as well. So typically with thumb arthritis, the pain is at the base of the thumb, uh, right where the thumb meets the wrist. Some patients will even have uh, prominence there, some swelling that's visible. Uh, even visible deformity, sometimes uh, development of palpable uh, bone spurs. Uh, the thumb can even uh, become uh, deformed and start to collapse uh, as the arthritis becomes more advanced. And so patients will often complain not only of pain, but I'm losing strength. Um, I can't grip as hard, I can't pinch as hard. I have difficulty buttoning buttons, zipping zippers, opening jars, basic uh, daily tasks. Treatment for thumb arthritis, we always start with the simplest treatments as we do with any orthopedic condition. Um, rest, activity modification, uh, typically non steroidal anti-inflammatory medications. I always give patients a splint to recommend a good external brace to immobilize the joint for support. Try to wear that as much as you can, especially at night. We will sometimes do uh, corticosteroid injections or steroid shots into the joint. That can be helpful. And then ultimately there are there's a surgical option that uh, works and is a reliable, good way to, to treat it for patients that are refractory to the conservative uh, treatment plans. Causes of thumb arthritis are largely genetic predisposition and then just wear and tear over time. Uh, some people will have had a history of trauma and injury, maybe a fracture involving that joint that can lead to what we call post-traumatic arthritis. The majority of arthritic cases though are patients that are have simply worn out their joint and it's a combination of ligament laxity, looseness of the joint, genetic predisposition, and then just wear and tear over time.